Autobots change to blue yo, 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 yo. what is going on guys it is your boy swag lord master flex for 2069 here and welcome back to the greatest call of duty game ever call of duty 24 and they just dropped the swaggiest tracer pack i've ever seen that's why i'm wearing this attire right now it's definitely not because i'm feeling kind of sick and disgusting right now and also dead inside because we have stuff like this coming into call of duty selling for 3,000 cod points which is 30 dollars. that's almost half the price of this game. But like I said, I am Swag Lord Master Flex for 2069, and this bundle has to be good if it's gonna be costing $30. We gotta be getting something insane, right? Let's find out. Clicking on view bundle here, you get two skins. Let's see, we have one that's blue and one that's red. V yeah, uh, nah, you know what? Let's make him green or pink. That's how difficult it is to change the colors. So really, it's just one skin, and then we have the next skin over here. Wait. This isn't a full skin. This is a kill streak skin, and he comes in blue and red. You know, what's really infuriating about this is that this is the coolest looking thing in the entire bundle, and you don't get to have it all the time. You have to earn the kill streak. So, like, you can't use this in Warzone. I'm pretty sure you would not be able to use this in Zombies. So, I mean, hey, if you only play multiplayer and you want to run, I'm assuming, the Juggernaut Recon kill streak, then go crazy. But, dude, I'm the number one Warzone battle. <laughs> I'm kidding. Let's not even go down that route. But yeah, I am a little disappointed that this is not just a skin that you can use all the time and it's just like basically a wrap for a kill streak. Seems kind of pointless. You have to want to use the kill streak in the first place, and even once you earn it, you're not really gonna be able to see the skin. It does look awesome, but you're not gonna really see it all that much. So it kind of defeats the purpose. Next up after that, oh boy, wow, we have <laughs> battle <laughs> blueprints for the sidewinder, everyone's favorite gun. This thing is so broken and overpowered. I mean, at least you're gonna get like a cool dismemberment effect. Let's see what that's gonna look like. So when you shoot him, oh, okay, that's actually pretty sick. I mean, you do still have to use the sidewinder, which is gross, but this is also gross in a good way. So they kind of cancel each other out. We still have this whole like lazy blue and red pattern kind of thing going on though. So you're really not getting that much value. Same thing with the sword right here, the teeth of Terra and the flesh terror. Although my God, the extra gore, that might just be worth it on its own. You know, at this point, we've basically been begging Sledgehammer to fix the packet burst, but instead the ketchup is still bursting everywhere. Except this time you have to shell out $30 to do it. And again, you get a red and blue sword. I'm, I'm not really sure what the point of this is, but basically you're really only getting four items here instead of like eight. But it does look like you can get more than just that. We also have a skin for the riot shield right here, which honestly, this is probably the best looking riot shield blueprint we've ever gotten. This is actually a really cool design. I'd be curious to see if that like red visor at the top of the shield would potentially skew your vision or not. Now you can't tell from the preview animation. It just gets closer to you. It looks like you also get a brecci called contempt. I'm sure a lot of people are going to have contempt for this, especially because if you use this blueprint, you also get the gore effects. We also have a finishing move called evisceration, but we don't get to preview it. I I don't know why they stopped doing previews for the uh, finishing moves but aside from that looks like you'll also get two weapon charms oh wait is this for two different like factions is this why they have blue and red because we have the blood angels and we have ultramarines now as I'm sure you can tell I'm a massive Warhammer 40,000 fan I I know everything about the Warhammer 40k which is a it's a miniature war game produced by games workshop most popular mi miniature war game in the world yeah I definitely know what I'm talking about yeah, I have no clue what this is. I just thought that the robot guy looked cool. Truthfully, I thought this was going to be like the second coming of Advanced Warfare 2, but I, I guess that's still not going to happen, but this is the closest we can get. I'm going to go ahead and get this. All right, we did it. We got the points. Doing this for you guys. Otherwise, I wouldn't buy this bundle. <laughs> okay, he's a skin for Scorch, so he's not someone brand new. Where's Scorch? I don't know who Scorch is. Oh, wait, that's Scorch. There we go. All right, I'm going to change to blue because blue is good. And if we look at the Juggernaut Recon skin, you can see that there's now two different skins for it. I'm going to put on the blue one. I think the blue one looks really sick. I got to put that Brecci on a class, dude. I already have the Brecci Reborn. I'm just going to have to equip the blueprint so I get the gore effects. Okay, that's what it looks like with gold. That's actually pretty sick. There's platinum. This is all from Modern Warfare 2 as well, obviously. Polyatomic, I can't really tell if anything's going on on there and then of course we have Orion. I am going to go to private match first though and just earn the kill trick real quick on the bots to see if I can notice any kind of difference because I don't really know if you're going to be able to see this kill streak skin at all. Oh, <laughs> we had Rick and a T pose. What? <laughs> yeah, we can put third person on. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Now, I'm pretty sure we can only test this in private match because we don't currently have a third person mosh pit on Modern Warfare 3. So, a little unfortunate, but we should be able to actually see the killstreak skin once we're in a match. Might need to remove the shades because I can't really see anything. All right, let's get it. All right, we got the jug recon already. Nice. Oh, this is going to be so cool. Let's call it in. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, I don't know if it's going to make it here. Don't you dare. No one come over here. All right, the square is here. We got it. Yeah, you can see it. It's looking pretty cool. What kind of music is it playing right now? 
I don't know if this is from the other game or not. This is really cool though, dude. I actually like this. Yeah. I really hope this is not copyrighted music. I feel like it probably is. I'm going to turn it off. Yeah, so I mean, this is a pretty cool killstreak skin, but like the only people that will be able to see it and appreciate it are going to be your enemies. Could still be soul crushing to die to this thing though. So it could be worth it. And again, I have no clue what Warhammer 40k is. I will say though, I did end up watching all the boys, at least for what's available so far. And the show's amazing. Very much enjoyed that. So I mean, maybe Warhammer 40k, maybe that's worth checking out too. Who knows? Imagine if they would have done like an Oppenheimer collab though. That would have been interesting. Get like some kind of special skin for calling it a nuke. And yes, I have not seen Oppenheimer yet either. I did see the Oscars though. And after seeing it win like a thousand awards, I think I should probably check it out too. Oh man, I think we were just about to get a 30 kill streak. What? What was that? Why did the game spawn in a second clone of us and it just died? That was weird. Just one bot, please. One single bot. I don't need all of you. Just one. There we go. There's the execution. Never mind. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I did casually unlock interstellar camo for the sword, which is pretty cool. I'm curious to see what it's going to look like on the blueprints. But yeah, we got a lot of different things to try out and use from this bundle online. I'm going to start with 12v12. It's been pretty good, but I feel like it's also gotten sweatier. I don't know. I feel like I still can't tell if they remove skill-based matchmaking from this mosh pit because when 10v10 was in the game, it really felt like there wasn't any skill base whatsoever. But I don't know, man. I feel like 12v12 is different. All right, let's check out the flesh terror. This actually has a different inspection than the... Oh, this is a sword chainsaw. Okay. I was like, dude, this is not the same inspection as the regular sword. But I didn't realize this thing is also a chainsaw. Okay, that is awesome. I'm kind of glad I bought this. What? How is that not a kill? I can't be raging. I can't lose my voice any more than it's already gone. Everything better go perfectly for me. I'm going to cry. It's not going to go perfectly. His clan tag's Eric, though. Spelled it the weird way, though. Come here, buddy. There you go. Except the chainsaw. Oh, they're all standing here. Okay, that is insane. They got an how do they have an advanced UAV? No. An EMP too. What are we doing, guys? What are we doing? There we go. Hey, it's coming back. We're doing good. Wait, another advanced UAV? Dude, I'm about to leave. If they call in another EMP, I'm done. Confirmed. Holy. Whew. Can't even use the sword. We got oh. ah! I want to be able to use the sword more, but this I'm not, yeah, I'm done. Back-to-back -back EMPs. I don't know what this team's doing. I really don't want to gatekeep this information, but I'm not going to tell you guys what game mode we're going to be going into. I'm curious to see if this game mode still basically has no skill-based matchmaking. Yo, I think this chainsaw can give this guy a haircut. All right, again, I'm not telling you guys what the game mode is, but I'm curious to see if it's going to be better than last match. Okay, well, I mean... I forgot that there's a certain mechanic in the game mode that should make it blatantly obvious what we're doing. But I do want to see if this is going to be easier, though. I mean, I don't know what that person's doing. So far, this is pretty good. Oh, oh, so far, this is already going way better. I want the jug recon, man. No, how'd you get behind me? What? Oh, hey, hip bomber. I almost had the jug recon, man. Oh, it actually hit? That's insane. Oh, dear. Get more throwing knife kills than with the chainsaw sword. We're going to call this a chain sword or a sword saw. Boom. Man, that is an amazing takedown. Boom. Yeah, some of these guys, they, I don't even know. I don't know what they're doing. Look at that. How am I not dead? Oh. Why is my, my aim is so bad, man. Oh, I got the jug recon though. Let's go. I don't know if I'll be able to get the kill cam, but I at least want to be in the kill cam. I want people to see the skin that I just got. My, my, Here we go. My, That's fine. Get away, Baldy. Is that a smoke or what? Like, I don't think so, buddy. Fire brecci. We have the one that's part of the bundle. Ooh. Now that's pretty cool. You can't hide. You cannot hide. I am the giant robot man. Oh yeah. Keep hiding. See what happens. I I don't know if I got kill cam, but I want to be part of the kill cam. So what we just played is a new game mode. Well, I mean, it's been in other Call of Duty games, apparently, but it's called Bounty. And when I played it, it really felt like there wasn't any skill base because I don't think a lot of people are thinking to play this game mode. We just went 20 to 3 using the sword. But there is a catch. I'm not going to tell you guys to go spam this game mode and try to infest it because it might not have skill based matchmaking because what that does is it completely undoes exactly what I just described. If your sole reason for playing a game mode is because you think it doesn't have skill based matchmaking, that doesn't work because what happens is everyone flocks to it and then everyone's sweating in that game mode and then all of a sudden it's not so much fun i'm gonna put on the new sidewinder skin because so far everything i've been using aside from the sword you can't really see from a first person perspective which is kind of a bummer let's see if this builds any good 
Nope, you can't make the Sidewinder good. We're getting spawn trapped by a sentry gun. <laughs> okay, so, so far I can get like one kill with the Sidewinder and then die. So this is a really good build. I'm going to switch to the Brecci. The, the Sidewinder sucks. You guys already know. <laughs> Brecci fun. I feel like this is literally the audience that they cater to with this gun. It's just, it's so stupid. Oh, I'm having fun with the Brecci. I really like spraying a shotgun everywhere. <laughs> You're making my brain happy. <laughs> I was playing a little bit of the double XP weekend and stuff. I haven't been like playing Modern Warfare 3 as seriously, but I feel like that's actually really helped with my enjoyment of the game. Not taking it so seriously has actually just made it more fun. Not playing it as often has made it more fun when I do get back on and play. But would I recommend buying the Warhammer 40k bundle? I think that really just depends. If you're like a massive fan of this game, then you don't really need any rationale behind it. I mean, it's the, it's like the same reason why I buy the Snoop Dogg skin anytime it comes into the game. I'm just going to get it because I love Snoop Dogg. But regardless of that, there are some things to consider. The first First is that this is a $30 bundle. It's pretty expensive just for some skins in the game. And on top of that, the first four things you get in this bundle are all duplicated with different colors. It's really not all that unique, but I will say that you still get a decent amount of content for that $30. They still give you a lot of other things and it's not too bad, but I really do wish you could still play as the robot dudes. Like, I feel like that would have been really cool. Instead, it's a killstreak skin and it's just not going to be as viable, not as usable. And even though I don't know shit about Warhammer 40k, that to me was the biggest appeal of the bundle. I thought that was the coolest looking thing but it is just a skin for a kill streak which is just not that great oh wait oh no i wanted to do the execution i still need to do the execution on someone that's the only reason i haven't quit the game yet oh i'm not playing as the person or oh okay i have to put the execution on everyone hold up <laughs> the t-posing i don't know what's been going on with the loading of this game it's been so slow lately but yeah i need to change the finishing move for trevor lawrence here let's just go ahead and play war it's usually a little bit easier to flank people on the map i think we need to put these back on that's why i haven't gotten it yet let's go okay the game is over sweet <laughs> bless you <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Bless you, my boy. I thought I was sick. Man is dying in game chat. All right, let's get this execution. You know, when it comes to finishing moves, I saw the leaks for the upcoming, like, I think it's going to be the Kong Godzilla, whatever that bundle is going to be. That is going to be nuts. I will absolutely get that one and make a giant montage. But here, there you go. Wait, that's not the... I put the finishing move on. That's not the right one. Oh my. I'm not sure if the Kong finishing move that they're going to add to Modern Warfare 3 is the exact one from Vanguard, but you will still be able to yeet people across the map. I don't think I had that in Vanguard. Like, I don't remember buying it or using it, but I want to get it for Modern Warfare 3. That's going to be so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> That's not it, though, man. Come on. Oh, he's going to see me. Come on. Someone come through. There we go. Nope, that's not it. Wait, there's a guy right here. No, why is it not doing it? It's just slashing them all. Stop. The sword saw is working too good. If we get the timing right on this, I think we can nail it. Yep, he doesn't see me. That's the execution right there. Let's get it. Mm. Nope. He took the kill. I am so done. Just one. Just one finishing move, please. I'll never do it again. Well, I probably will do it again, but still. There we go. That's the one right there. Beautiful. And we had the chainsword too. Perfect. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me buy and check out the Warhammer 40k bundle in Modern Warfare 3. I do apologize for being a little bit lower energy today, but I really can't do anything about that. But hopefully I will be feeling better soon. And with that being said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did it and you want to see some more videos from Swaglord Master Flex for 2069, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. Come, <laughs>